We're going to avoid the worst of it, but uh, we're going to be nice and cool inside here for an amazing Hyvitz Hoot Nanny. My name is Benjamin Rowe. The only thing that I do here at these Hoot Nannies is that I do the heavy lifting. <laughs> well, actually, unfortunately, the lifting right now is quite light. You Heifetz Hootenanny veterans know what this is all about, right? So I'm hoping that through your generosity that I will have heavy lifting at the end of the evening. I'm just going to leave it right there. Please welcome our two co-coordinators of the Heifetz Hootenannies for 2022, Isabella Gorman and Andrew Green. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ben. Again, I, I don't know how many times we're going to thank the stage crew today, but I don't think we can do it enough, so I'll give them one more quick one. Also want to uh, welcome up to the stage with us. Uh, Isabel and I have, have made this fun little tradition over the past couple of years of opening each of these uh, evenings with a little banjo fiddle tune, um, a lot of times drawing on the, the traditional kind of bluegrass fiddle tune repertoire, some old time music. But today, uh, ostensibly, is our soul shakedown hoot. So we're trying to lean more in that direction. So we'll have uh, some special guests really exploring that territory later. But we figured, why don't we sort of try to get ourselves there right off the bat? So we brought up our good friend and collaborator, Joseph Nichols, who, give it up for Joseph one time, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> If you've come to a few of uh, these shows, then you, you'll have seen Joseph over these, these past couple of months on the High Fit stage. Really wonderful, wonderful bassist based out of uh, Harrisonburg and Charlottesville area. So we're really thrilled to have him. So if you want to kind of go in that R&B soul direction, need the bass. So we'll add that in, do our little bluegrass thing on top of it and get things started on the right foot. We're going to do an old tune uh, called Sitting on Top of the World. I'll say for good measure, we'll actually throw in a little Earl Scruggs tune, too, just to bring it back to the hoot. We don't want to go too far afield from, from our roots. Thank you. 
despite the rain and we were it's always kind of wondering whether or not these are going to be outside or inside and it's a scramble to get them together but so far it's worked out every time and I appreciate you all sticking with us um, usually when we get to the fourth and fifth hootenannies a bunch of students are really excited about it because they've seen sort of the freedom and want to get in it so we, we try to stick more or less to some kind of theme these weeks but I think part of the beauty of HiFITS is everybody has, you know, different backgrounds and different interests in music. So we try to accommodate everybody as much as we can. So this next tune we're going to play isn't necessarily Soul Shakedown, but it's a little uh, Scottish folk tune that uh, one of our RAs brought. So we thought we'd start it off slow, kind of easy, get a little world music in in the first set and end with some Soul Shakedown. So let me bring out Ross and Maraid. And we'll, we'll play this tune for you. play oh wow okay <laughs> uh, we're going to play uh, a it's a soulful tune not a not soul by any standard but it's Neil Gow's lament for the death of his second wife now it sounds awfully dark and it is Scottish music so but I think with the weather it's especially appropriate Neil Gow, though, was a great fiddle player in his day. Uh, he wrote consort music in the style of what we would think of as Scottish folk music today. Uh, I think it's just as great as, you know, Mozart de Verdamento or something. It's, uh, some of it is really, really wonderful music. Um, and this is just one example he wrote after the passing of his second wife. Um, though I think you'll hear that he deals with death in a little in a slightly different way than one might expect musically. Um, the other story behind this piece is that he wrote it after somebody sat on his fiddle. Uh, I think the first one is true, but if it makes you feel uh, lighter, then you can go with the second version. Thank you.
All right, I have the very distinct pleasure of bringing up a special guest. Actually, our, the chairman of our board of directors is here this weekend, Bruce Rosenblum, who just happens to be, in addition to being an incredibly keen mind, all things financial, managerial, and strategic, is a really, really wonderful singer, songwriter, musician, actually a bassist himself. Um, and in the past, he's, he's joined in, 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 a, in the bass capacity. But then a couple years ago, he's like, you know what, I'm actually doing more of the songwriting thing these days. So we say, great. So it's uh, a really, really great pleasure to welcome back to the stage again, Bruce Rosenblum. He's going to bring up, uh, he's going to be flanked by a, a quartet of students who I will introduce later. Um, but real treat to, to share his gifts with you. So Bruce Rosenblum, everybody. Thank you, Andrew. And uh, it is really a thrill to be back in Stanton. I think I can say on behalf of all the directors who are down here this weekend how excited we are to be lapping up the immense uh, talent that is present here in, among the students, the faculty, the staff. It's just a, a special place. And it's not only a privilege for me to get to play for you, but to call on a bit of that vast pool of talent to, uh, to help out, which is uh, a great privilege. So we have uh, Mairead on cello, um, Aiden on viola, Pasacalia, and Clay on violins here uh, for this first number. Um, as Andrew said, I have focused on singing and songwriting at various points in my life, but it, kind of went into a vast hibernation for decades um, uh, until the pandemic. And one of the silver linings of being locked down for uh, such a long time was to have some time to get back to it, um, which I did in a very concerted fashion. Uh, I made a promise to myself I was going to write a song and record it each week from summer of 2020 through the end of the year, and I did that. But, you know, the first songs I worked on were kind of reflecting the zeitgeist of the time. There was a lot of topical issues, uh, things uh, about uh, our sad situation with isolation, maybe some deep reflections personally. And after you know a bit of this, my wife turned to me and said, uh, hey, how about a love song? And um, you know, which is a bit of a conundrum since I can't write the same love songs that I might have written in my early 20s. But uh, uh, this one ended up not completely escaping the zeitgeist of the time, but it's sort of a reflection on the pleasures of spending COVID lockdown with your love of over 40 years. So it's called uh, In Our Garden. A robin song, laughter, the light on our shade, signs of a day that is starting. With what we have made, happiness grows in our garden. Sleepy head, get out of bed, come face the day. Night scars, is is departing. Siren songs beckon. So until the sword and we'll watch. 
even more heavy hitters coming out here. Uh, we've, uh, we've got Andrew returning to the stage on banjo and uh, our maestro of bass here at Hyfe, it's Sam Suggs coming out. Uh, to go. So after finishing that, you know, several month challenge to myself, I took a breather, but the whole idea was to kind of uh, uh, make this second nature and keep it part of my life. Um, and slowly the world opened up a little bit more and the songs became a little bit more open too. Uh, this next one is the most recent one I've completed just several weeks ago. It's kind of a great big life as a road trip metaphor. and. Uh, with a little bit of a country tinge to it, but it's called uh, Enjoy the Ride. So. Take a ride. It's good to have you by my side, my friend, all set up and ready to go. Headed toward a better place, looking for that state of grace. It'll take us a lifetime to know. Pedal to the metal, we'll be driving fast. We're slowing down a little. Slides. Stop when the road forks and we need to decide It'll be a journey and not a race But we'll all keep a steady pace Get out on the highway when we feel the call Pit stop when the engine needs an overhaul Find our destination, but most of all enjoy the ride Spend all your time on the phone Be prepared to break 
can shift when someone else requires a lift. You don't want to get there alone. Pedal to the metal, we'll be driving fast. Slowing down at the moment's last. Stop it when the road falls and we need to decide. It'll be a journey and not a race. The club will want to keep a steady pace. And get out on the highway when they feel the call. Get stopped when the engine needs an overhaul. Find our destination, but most of all, enjoy the ride. There's a long road ahead, but we still. Oh, the mileage is high this July. We can't fly, and the fuel gauge is not in the red. So pedal to the metal, we'll be driving fast. You still gotta make the moments last. And baby, when the road forks, then you need to decide. It's a journey and not a race But you want to keep up the pace And get out on the highway when you feel the call No, and when your engine needs an overhaul Find your destination Most of all, enjoy the ride Oh, find your destination Most of all, enjoy We told Bruce last year, he was actually in the process this time last year of our summer annual board meeting um, of, of assuming the position of the chairman of the board of directors. So, you know, it had been a long process and, you know, all sort of vetting, of rigorous as, as you would imagine, but we told him the very last step of it was, was the hoot performance. <laughs> and so, needless to say, he passed last year and I'd say this year even, uh, he brought even even some better material, including he, he did the whole string arrangement for that first tune. I'm not sure if he quite uh, announced that, but that was his own uh, arrangement. And a big thanks. We, we, our students do such an incredible job learning this music on very quick turnaround times. We just sort of throw these arrangements at them. So a big thanks to uh, Clay and Pasacalia and Aiden and May Reed for doing such a wonderful job with the quartet. So it is the, the final two weeks at Heifetz, which means it's time for the basses to show up and kind of take over. And you know when, when the, the bassists are around because uh, Sam Suggs is here, our, the, our sole bass faculty member, and there's sort of a joke that it's, it's almost like um, you know a mother duck and the ducklings kind of rolling through Stanton, Sam and, and his handful of bass students. Because it's not like we have like 40 or 60 in the same way we have violin students. There's, there's a handful, you know, it's a smaller studio. So they're very close knit and Sam is really a, a probably the brightest rising star in the field of contemporary upright bass players. So we're really fortunate to have him. So we got him here, so we figure we'll, we'll put him to work and have him play another tune for you. Hello, thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here and have such wonderful students and a wonderful audience. Um, how many of you were here last year when I played a little solo stuff? A few? Oh, great, thank you, thank you. Uh, um, great, um, I'm gonna play something a little different this time. This is a couple of short excerpts of things. I, I love picking out pieces that kind of seem to fit together in mysterious ways. Um, and the first of these excerpts is a piece um, by Thomas Tallis. Um, it's called In Manus Tuas, In Your Hands. And this was arranged by and written over by Caroline Shaw, the great composer, uh, originally for cello. And from that, I'm going to ask us to go into a piece by Andres Martin, who is a, um, 
Argentinian bassist and composer. And this piece is called Alone. Um, it was written kind of in one of his darker moments. Um, and it has this strange connection to um, what follows it, which is going to be a little bit of Bach. Um, a little bit of Bach from the second cello suite. And um, I'll end with my favorite Beatles tune, um, <laughs> which, you know, th there's a sense that the, in Manus to us, the text in your hands is a, a story of redemption. And I find that this piece alone was written like in his darkest moments. So I feel like these pr pieces are kind of united both musically and emotionally through this re redemption arc, if you will, or um, the variety of colors we get from that arc. Um, so here is Caroline Shaw, Thomas Tallis, some Martin, some Beatles, and some Bach. Um, thank you so much.
We're going to take a real quick set break. I think we all need a minute to digest that incredible, incredible piece by Sam. Make sure to visit our concession stand. We've got some uh, pizza from our sponsor, Shenandoah Pizza, today. So please be sure to get that while it's, it's still around and it's still hot. We've got some drinks for sale, some snacks. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming. Despite the, the last minute changes, we really appreciate you hanging with us. So we'll take a few minutes and be back with the second set. Thanks again.
Okay. I'm going to make this very, very brief. <laughs> well, inspired by that last set by Sam Suggs, I'll just say, you've only been waiting for this moment to be free of commercial interruptions. So do your part with the banjo case, and you will be free of commercial interruptions. All right, can I do my part first? All right. Uh-oh. A hundred. <laughs> Roller shiplet, everybody. <laughs> okay, well, that, that banjo case isn't going anywhere, uh, but you are now blessedly free of me. Please welcome Noel, Clara, Stephen, and Jean Francois. Hello everyone, my name is Noel Naito, and um, I'm with my good friends, Stephen, JF, and Clara. Um, so before we play this piece, um, I just have to make a little introduction of it. So I'll do this. A long time ago in a galaxy far, <laughs> far away.
Good evening. Thank you, first of all, for coming out after we changed venues. <laughs> Tonight, my roommate and amazing friend, Jane and I, my name is Kendall, <laughs> will perform for you one of our favorite pieces by Michael Jackson arranged for two cello. When we first came across this arrangement, we were ecstatic. However, we came across one small problem. Jane plays the violin. <laughs> for reference, bass clef and treble clef, cello clef and violin clef, are parallels to French and English, two different languages. However, Jane went ahead and sight read it, <laughs> somehow in the moment, out of the blue, and here we are today. Jane and I met in 2018 at a summer music camp similar to this one. We saw each other again in 2019 here in Stanton at the Heifetz Institute PEG program. Then we saw each other again <laughs> that fall in Manhattan. Since then, we've kept in touch, and now we're here that many years later, <laughs> playing together for the first time in Houdinani. Lastly, I'd like to thank Miles, our good friend, for letting us use his jacket.
All right, that was very cool. So cool to hear some really starting to move into our soul direction like we promised, and we'll just keep moving there for the rest of the evening, uh, take a dip back into some jazz territory. We did hear Bruce, our board chairman. We're actually going to feature another board member here. We're going to sort of keep moving through the list. So uh, Bertie and, and Peter and Susan, you all will be playing in the encore. So I hope you got the charts and you're, you've been rehearsing, right? So. Um, no, joking aside, um, we are going to feature our board member, Jeffrey Menon, who's a wonderful, wonderful piano player and has graced this stage several times in the past. And he'll be playing with Joseph Nichols, who you heard on bass earlier today. And we'll be featuring one of our students, Jean-Francois, who you heard playing cello before. He'll be singing for you today. So we'll let him introduce the piece they're doing, but it'd be nice to take it in a little bit of a, a cabaret jazz trio for a moment. This is, out, this is loud enough. Okay. I'll be singing Misty. That's it. and 
say that you're leading me on But that's just what I want you to do Don't you know just how hopelessly I'm lost That's why I'm following you on my own. Would I wander through this wonderland? Knowing my right foot from my left My hat from my glove I get misty and too much in love Say that you're leading me on But that's just what I want you to do Don't you know just how hopelessly I'm lost That's why Through this wonderland alone Never knowing my right foot from my left My hat from my glove I get misty and too much Too much.
All right. That definitely has left me feeling a little misty. So let's let's keep it going as much as we can. And I think it's perfect that we're bringing back Emily Mitchell. For any of you who were here last, yay! For any of you who were here last week, she sang a couple of her tunes, and I think actually what she's about to sing is an original of hers. And she just put the cello part together too, so she's bringing Maraid Flory on the cello back up to play with her. Hi everybody, my name is Emily and today I'm going to be singing Take Me to the River, um, which is one of my favorite um, soul songs. And I'm joined today by Maraid. Um, we're going to do an arrangement that I put together and um, it was inspired by my favorite artist, Eva Cassidy. She had this song, <laughs> yes, um, she has this song on her album um, Live at Blues Alley from 1996. So I hope you enjoy this little different take on it. <laughs> Wash me down Won't you cleanse my soul 
Mic check. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll be doing a standard view if I were a bell. Hope you enjoy.
All right, one more quick break. Going to get right back to the music, do a little changeover, and have tonight's big special guest. I think the cat's out of the bag, but we'll just prolong it for as long as we possibly can. Just give us a few more minutes. So uh, please do visit the con concessions, get yourself a slice of pizza and something to drink, and we'll be right back. Y'all just keep talking. Check, 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 test, test, testing, one, two, check, 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 check. There, there's a lot of low end on this, or is that my voice? <laughs> check, check. This thing on. Yeah, it test. All right. Sound. Test your bass. Bass. It's on the stage. Yep. Are you good? It's on. My mic's like good. Really hot. Yep. Can you make it a little Just more green? Like... Check, check, check. Our voices are about to change. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> So, in, uh, oh, look, whoa. Uh, yeah, I, I used to, when I used to play all the time, I would tell people I don't charge for playing, I charge for setting up and tearing down. And you can see why now. It's the tough part. So, uh, does anybody want to say anything before we start? Or are we just doing it? Thank you, okay, there you go. <laughs> Well, you know, I've been watching these high fit students for some years now, and I've seen how they will talk about the pieces that they're ready, going to play. They'll talk about the composer and, and give some thoughts on how it makes them feel, et cetera. So I thought I would try to do that tonight. So <clears throat> for our first uh, composition, uh, the composer, the name is Henry Williams. And his friends called him Hank. And, and it reminds me of how much fun it was when I was young and would go out drinking. <laughs> hey, good looking. What you got cooking? 
I how's about cooking something up with me? Hey, sweet baby, don't you think maybe we could find ourselves a brand new recipe? I got a hot pot food and a two dollar bill, and I know a spot right over the hill for self pump and the dancers free. So if you wanna have fun, come along with me. Hey, good looking, what you got cooking? How's about cooking something up with me? Play it one time. now to let everyone introduce themselves because the last time I played with some of these guys they wanted to be anonymous so I'm gonna make uh, everybody just go down the line we'll start with the uh, strings have at it hi my name is Adam Ibrahim I play the viola and I'm currently studying at the New England Conservatory of Music Great. Hi, I'm Pasakalia. I play the violin, and I also study at New England Conservatory of Music. Hey everybody, I'm Clay. I also study at NC. <laughs> back, back. Bob Russell, uh, new resident of Stanton, uh, School of Hard Knocks. Uh, I'm Kirby, and I no longer study. Anywhere. <laughs> and then we picked up this uh, keyboard player earlier today. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm Jeffrey. I love being here. Dude nannies are the best. At one point, I studied at the Yale School. <laughs> okay, so this next piece was composed by Mr. Nelson and and was performed by a Virginia native, Ms. Klein. And, and so we'll see if we can even hold a candle to her. <laughs> Like we never kissed You want 
Okay, so this next song, what can I say about this? Ah, it's only rock and roll, but I like it. Kansas City, Kansas City, here I come. I'm going to Kansas City, Kansas City, here I come. They got some crazy men there, and I'm going to get me one. I'm going to be standing on the corner, 12th Street and Vine. City baby and a bottle of Kansas City wine. You know, I might take a train, I might take a plane, but if I gotta walk, I'm gonna get there just the same. Going to Kansas City, Kansas City, here I come. They got some crazy little women there, and I'm gonna get me one play. Some crazy women there And I'm gonna get me one You know I might take a train Might take a plane But if I gotta walk I'm gonna get there just the same Going to Kansas City Kansas City, here I come They got some crazy men there They got some crazy men there And I'm gonna get me one <sighs> Let's see, the kids are back that's a, that's a clue. We must be doing a really good string song now for them. Um, but, you know, I will have to say one thing. You know, since I've been up here, there's been absolutely nobody putting money in this case. I've been watching. I had it moved right in front of me so I could keep an eye on it, and I'm not seeing it. And, you know, I have to say that these three are getting hazardous duty pay for playing with us. So... We need more money in this case. So feel free to come up while we're playing. It's okay. There's my grandson. What a good boy he is. <laughs> he, he might be a musician one day, and he'll need this money too. Look, there you go. Pay, uh, give till it hurts. Watch, watch him. Keep an eye on that man. Okay. This is the man. Roller's not going to let Ben ever get ahead of him. <laughs> A 
when the sun beats down and burns a tar up on the roof and the street gets so hot you wish your tired feet were fireproof another boat ball down by the sea yeah on a blanket with my baby is where I'll be Under the boardwalk Out of the sun Under the boardwalk We'll be having some fun Under the boardwalk People walking above Under the boardwalk We'll be falling in love Under, under the boardwalk Boardwalk From the park you can hear The happy sounds of the carousel You can almost taste the hot dogs and french fries they sell Under the boardwalk, down by the sea, yeah On a blanket with my baby is where I'll be Under the boardwalk, out of the sun Under the boardwalk Just want to point out to everyone who's keeping uh, track of my hairstyle since COVID. Um, you know, when COVID hit, you couldn't go to the hairdresser, so it it grew, and and so now I call this hairstyle apathy because I I haven't done anything. So you know, I'm thinking maybe we'll do a fundraiser and we'll have a contest to name a hairstyle for me. I'm, I'm planning on just getting it long enough to donate it for uh, lots of love. Uh, but then after that, I got to do something. So y'all be thinking. Hey, come back, come back. Hey, come back here, you guys. Here's a chorus here. Come back. That's a problem with string players. We're always we lost the off. backup singers. If not, everyone can be the chorus. It, it, we may we may be forced to do that. Okay, cut their pay. Yep. <laughs> All right, here we go. Y'all are welcome to join in. Mustang Sally. Guess you better slow and Mustang down. Oh, Mustang Sally, now baby. Guess you better slow that Mustang down. To put your flat feet on the ground Everybody, all you want to do is ride around Sally Ride, Sally, ride Pretty good, all you 
you want to do is ride around Sally. Ride Sally, ride. Oh, all you want to do is ride around Sally. Ride Sally, ride. All you want to do is ride around Sally. I bought you a brand new Mustang Just about 1965 Now you come around like you're signifying woman Don't wanna let me ride Mustang Sally No, baby Guess you better slow that Mustang down You better running all over town now, baby mm, Got to put your flat feet on the ground Do it one more time you want to do is ride around Sally. Ride, Sally, ride. All you want to do is ride around Sally. Ride, Sally, ride. Oh, all you want to do is ride around Sally. Ride, Sally, ride. All you want to do is ride around Sally. Gonna be wiping your weeping eyes. Play it one time for me. You're gonna help us real loud this time. Here we go. All you wanna do is ride around Sally. Ride, Sally, ride. Yeah. All you wanna do is ride around Sally. Ride, Sally, ride. Oh, all you wanna do is ride around Sally. You wanna do is ride around Sally. Now one of these early mornings, you're gonna be wiping your weeping eyes. That's all, folks.
you. You got your money's worth, right? The Heifetz International Music Institute and its Festival of Concerts. More than 50 live concerts in Stanton, Virginia, and daily programs streaming worldwide. Full calendar and information at heifetzinstitute.org. <laughs>